so Alabama gets a new quarterback in the transfer portal. And it went a little bit under the radar, a little bit, only because it it was smack dab right in the middle of those opening rounds for the NFL draft. So Tyler Buckner, last year's uh, season opener, starting co- quarterback for Notre Dame. Uh, and there, by the way, offensive coordinator Tommy Reese, who's now at Alabama, transfers to Alabama. Now he does so basically you know after spring ball reunites with his offensive coordinator after spring ball this brings up two questions two questions number one am i concerned number two what does that tell us let me start with what does this tell us well the first thing that this transfer communicates is that nobody took control of that job in the spring. So when you're looking at Ty Simpson and Jalen Milrow, who were competing in the spring for Alabama, there were clearly some concerns within the program about the direction or the play of those quarterbacks during spring. They would not have taken this transfer if they felt really good. Again, maybe Maybe if they just felt okay or, or, or decent or good, would they take a transfer? Yeah, maybe. Now, if they felt really good, would they take a transfer? Probably not. And the reason is, is because that transfer probably wouldn't come. You see? Because this is a two-way street. Tyler Buckner is not just sitting there with his bag, knocking like on the porch, like, please let me in. He's wanting to go to a place where there's opportunity. He also has an inside agent, if you will, and his former offensive coordinator, Tommy Reese. It's not just familiarity. It's also a trust factor. You really think Tommy Reese and and Tyler Buckner are not going to talk about his opportunity to potentially be the starting quarterback? Well, of course. So Buckner would not have been a transfer to Alabama if they were really happy with their quarterbacks coming out of spring. That's what that tells us. And that's not a knock. It just is what it is. So what else does that tell us? Well, Alabama probably is not going to start in a position this year where they're accustomed to starting. Where are they accustomed to starting? Well, for the last 13 straight seasons, Alabama has been a preseason top three team. That's not going to happen this year. They're not going to be in the top three this year. And in large part because of not this transfer specifically, but what this transfer tells us what it communicates to us that they are unsettled at the most important position on the field 13 straight years they've been in the ap top three they are at this point a mainstay even in the top five i believe it's 14 straight years in the top five in the ap preseason now will they be in the top five probably they're going to be in my top five more on that in a moment but this does tell us that there is some concern within the program about who was going to be the starting quarterback. Because of that concern, at least enough was communicated to a guy who was looking for an opportunity to come and take that opportunity and take that chance at Alabama. Um, This is a team, by the way, that last year won football games specifically because of their quarterback. That hasn't always been the case at Alabama. Increasingly so in the last few years, obviously, as they've moved to a, a more modern Uh, offense uh, and an offense that can go and and get into a shootout and win. So that transition has happened. And is it concerning? You know, there's, there's some concern only because of the way they won some games last year. I mean, Bryce was the, the reason that they won against Texas. He's the reason that they're in the game against Tennessee and LSU in the game that he did not play. And we saw Jalen Mill, Mill, Milrow, there was some concern. Listen, they b- barely is a strong word, but they didn't look great in a win at home over Texas A&M. And Texas A&M was terrible last year. Right? I mean, like, let's call a spade a spade. I mean, A&M was not great, and they barely beat them at home. Okay. They've enjoyed this great run of quarterbacks where they've been increasingly reliant on that quarterback in order to produce what Bama is accustomed to producing. It started with Jalen Hurts and then obviously moved to Tua and Mac Jones had that great year in a national championship and then obviously the last couple of years with Bryce Young. Um, 
you know, without Bryce, last year would have been a different year. I think that they probably lose at least three games, maybe even four games, without Bryce Young in the starting lineup. Uh, th- that's what it tells me. All of those things. Now let's let's go back to: Am I concerned? No. The answer is an emphatic no. Am I concerned about Alabama? No. This is coming from the same moron, me, two thumbs me, who, what was it, six years ago, Bama fans, went on with Colin Coward and said, Alabama's got a Nick Saban problem. Idiot. Right? I mean, obviously I've learned my life. Am I concerned? No. Are they going to start in my top five? Yes. Why? Because they're Alabama. Because Nick Saban is still there. Because they've recruited as good as anybody, including Georgia, over the last five years, right? So, like, when you look at the composite of what the roster is, they're going to be just fine. Look what it took to beat them last year. With a team that I will be the first to say wasn't quite what Alabama had been used to, in particular at wide receiver and in particular on the offensive line. And and still, look what it took to beat them. Historic performances at home in a crazy environment from Tennessee and historic performances in a crazy environment at home for LSU. So am I concerned? No, Alabama is still Alabama. This is not the moment to panic. Look at the recruiting class that they just had. Will they figure the quarterback position out? Yes. If there's one guy in the country that I trust to work around a quarterback that he maybe doesn't have complete faith in, who is it? Nick Saban. Because he's done it time and time again. He's won championships with with quarterbacks that are just kind of okay. And he's won quarterback uh, championships with quarterbacks that are really good and, and highly talented. I'm not concerned for Alabama. Now, does it tell us that they might be a little concerned about a particular position? Yes. But it's not time to be panicked about Alabama. I do think that that was interesting news, though, and I wanted to just kind of share with you those two answers to those two questions. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.